Welcome to this video in which we will find the Thevenin equivalent circuit for a circuit that has both an independent and a dependent source. We will do this for a circuit that has real life applications and so I've drawn two circuits here. The bottom one is called a common emitter transistor amplifier circuit. It's a simple cheap amplifier that's often used. However, it's nonlinear and therefore difficult to analyze. So instead, to do analysis, we use what's called a small signal model circuit, and this is what I've drawn on top. This circuit approximates the behavior of the common emitter amplifier under specific operating conditions. Our goal is to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit of the small signal model. To find this Thevenin equivalent circuit, we need to find the open circuit voltage and R Thevenin. So let's begin by finding the open circuit voltage. Uh, to do the or find the open circuit voltage, we need to figure out how to do the analysis. And probably for this circuit, the easiest way would be to apply Kirchhoff's current law to this node. Kirchhoff's current law is that the sum of the currents entering the node is equal to the sum of the currents leaving. So let's label the current through the 2k ohm resistor as I sub 2. The sum of currents entering the node include I sub b and 50 times I sub b. That's coming from the dependent current source. And this would be equal to I sub 2. I sub 2 again is the current leaving the node through the 2k ohm resistor. By Ohm's law, I2 is equal to VOC over 2k ohms. So we also need I sub B, and we can find it as follows. The voltage across the 1k ohm resistor and the 50 ohm resistor in series is given by VN minus VOC. So I can write I sub B using Ohm's law as Vn minus Voc divided by 1.05 k ohms. This is the 1 k ohm resistor plus the 50 ohm resistor in series. And now we can plug this expression for I sub b into our equation above. We have 51 times I sub b where we have that from the I sub b plus the 50 I sub b we plug in Vn minus Voc over 1.05 k ohms for I sub b, and this is equal to Voc over 2 k ohms. Now we want to solve this equation for Voc in terms of Vn, and probably the simplest way to do that is to multiply both sides of the equation by 2 k ohms. So we do this. And on the right hand side of the equation, the 2 k ohms cancel. On the left hand side of the equation, we have 2 k ohms times 51 divided by 1.05 k ohms, and that's all times Vn minus Voc. So we compute the constant in front of Vn minus Voc, and we get 97.14 Vn minus Voc is equal to Voc. Now we solve this for VOC, and we get 97.14 times Vn is equal to 97.14 plus 1 times VOC. Finally, solving for VOC, we get it's equal to 97.14 divided by 97.14 plus 1 times Vn, which when I work it out is equal to 0.990 Vn. So now we have Voc in terms of Vn, and in a sense we are halfway done. We still need R Thevenin, and to get that we need to find the short circuit current Isc. So let's bring up the original circuit, and to find ISC, we will short the two terminals and find the current that flows between them. Now this will get a little strange in the sense that shorting the terminals gives us a situation that we are often not used to working with. 
If I short the two terminals, the voltage between this guy and this guy is zero, which means that the voltage across the resistor is zero, which means that the current through the resistor is zero. So the resistor doesn't affect the input, or I'm sorry, doesn't affect the output at all, and I can chop it out of the circuit without changing anything. So let's do that. It'll make life a little easier. So now at this point, we can apply Kirchhoff's current law to this point in the circuit. And when we do this, we get that ISC is equal to I sub B plus 50 I sub B. And I guess we can write that as 51 I sub B. Okay, now to get IB, we need the voltage across the 1K ohm and the 50 ohm resistor in series. And this voltage, it turns out, will be the same as Vn. And the way you see this is to note that between the 50 ohm resistor on the right and the Vn on the bottom, there's a path of perfectly conducting wire. So the voltage at um, the right of the resistor is the same as at the bottom of Vn. And that means, if I do then KVL around the loop, that the voltage across the series resistor combination is the same as Vn. So applying Ohm's law, I get that I sub B is Vn over 1.05 K ohms. So now we can take this expression for I sub B and plug it into our equation for ISC, and we get the following. ISC is 51 times Vn divided by 1.05 K ohms. And when we work that out, and when we work this out, we get 0 0.0486 Vn. So that's an expression for ISC. So now we can compute the Thevenin resistance. Let's go back to the open circuit voltage VOC. We have ISC is equal to 0 0.0486 Vn. Our Thevenin is VOC divided by ISC, which is 20.37 ohms. So now we have all the information we need to draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit. A final comment, to find the Thevenin equivalent resistance, RTH, we might try to zero out the uh, Vn source, that is the independent source, and find the equivalent resistance of the circuit. But we can't do that because of the dependent source. So when we have a dependent source, we have to compute uh, the Thevenin equivalent resistance as the open circuit voltage divided by the short circuit current. There's no other way to do that. So, uh, this concludes this video. Thanks for watching.